Hi, let's do a little bit more on this, sorting some of its problems out before the students come in. Let's get this done. One thing we need to do, which I do occasionally, is a wire brush in a drill. There you go. That's worked out well. So that's ready to go in there. Let's have a look at this, see what this looks like now. I think there's some rust still in that hole there. Actually, it's not rust, it's glue. I can see right inside, there's a lump of glue in the bottom. Really, they should wipe the glue on the outside at the top wind this down and clean off the excess so uh, that's probably what's happened it's just been a blob of glue that's pushed it down the glue stays on the edge of here but doesn't actually thread the glue doesn't get threaded onto there so that's the problem with it so that's a nice easy one to fix so i think i should have a look at this just rough it up a little bit so let's put it down I just want to get some new metal showing and the idea is that if there's some new metal there and it's not polished it's more likely to bond with the adhesive and bond into place. I'm just going to file a couple of grooves That'll do, that'll help, that's enough. Just a couple of filed grooves in there will help the adhesive hold. Right, a few bits and pieces here. There's the screw. I've put a nut on there to assist. That's gonna go in there. Now what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run that inside the thread a couple of times, just to make sure that thread's cut. So let's just wind that down in there. Right, so that's down as far as it'll go. That's great. Let's get it back out. It'll probably need to come out with a screwdriver. Yeah, it's come out. I find the Aveldite Rapid is great. Epoxy power, five minutes. I've always used this, it's great. All right, let's get some mixed up. And when using these epoxies, make sure you mix it properly. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it around the inside of the hole. on the thread as well. Right, I'm just gonna undo that knot. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to tighten it down a little bit more because I want that thread to go into the lignum as well as the beach. So the further in I can take that, the better. So I'm just going to pop it in a bit further. Don't want to split it apart again. Let's take it out and have a look. That's great. I'm just going to wipe that excess glue inside the edge of the hole. This is partly to seal the wood as well. What I've done is I've just worked the excess around the top of there so that there's almost a washer of glue 
a ring of glue stopping that coming back out now. And that's sufficiently down for me to take some off the surface. That's great. The problem with this plane is that this part here is in beech onto the lignum and the body of the plane is in cherry. So this beech moves more than cherry. I want to plane some of this off because I know there's a little hump on there. So we'll plane some of this off later. Right, I've left it a little while for the glue to harden off and I'm just going to push a chisel across this surface, one-handed. Just to remove the glue, but do you remember me saying there was a bump on this and it was stopping it sitting in the bottom of the plane properly? Um, there's evidence in there that there's a bump on here as well. So I just want to take off the glue and some of the wood to get rid of that bump. I can feel it around here as well. What I can do in a minute, let's just turn this around. So I can feel what's going on with the chisel, what's proud. It's looking better, it's feeling better, it's just still a bit more proud. And you'll get used to this, you, you'll feel when there's a bump in, in the wood. Um, I could run a scraper over it, but I think, I think I'll just get this chisel and just remove any traces. That feels much flatter now. Let's put that back. Make sure there's no glue on it first. That's all right. right, let's clean that out. Just got the vacuum cleaner and vacuumed that out. This feels much better just having scraped it. So I checked before to make sure that the thread was okay and not full of glue. And that's great. Okay, let's try it back in there. So this goes that way up. And this goes in here. I'm trying to do this one handed. Okay, that's pulling down. Okay, let's move it around a bit. All right, well, I've just I've just moved it back up because it was it was the way it was orientated. It was falling down towards the blade, and it wasn't going. That's not far off at all now. Um, it's a bit proud. I'd rather it be too proud than set in because I would have to take more off here. But um, a little bit more would be good. Let me just see if it just needs tightening a bit more. Don't want to over tighten it because that's what happened before. But um, now it's not made any difference. Okay, which means that it's the timber sitting in the hole. Let's revisit that. I'm just taking this little bump off here. Do you remember me showing you there was a little bump in there? And um, it was obvious that... There you go. It was obvious to me that there was a little lump there. Probably needs sanding nicely, but that's awkward to sand in there. Uh, I could take some of this sharp edge off to marry up with that. Let's just see what that looks like. If that hasn't made any difference. The thing is, these things aren't square, so probably hasn't made any difference. Maybe I should just be satisfied that it's, oh, oh, it's a little bit further down. 
So it isn't. Mm. That side. Flatten that off on a sheet. Let's flatten that off on a sheet. Right, so I've just put a sheet on here. So it's that side there. Let's see what we can do. Well, that's looking pretty flat. little bit more actually yeah a little bit more <laughs> that looks better that looks better oh flush a little bit off flush a little bit off, just at the bit at the back now. Just a bit more pressure down here. Let's put that that way. What I haven't said is, um, once this is all fitted, I'm going to put some finish on this. I've just got to clean that bit of glue off there that from before. I'm going to put some finish on this so that it can't absorb. Oh, that's much better much better there you go let's put the screw in that's much better if anything it's a little bit low there now but it's flush here it's flush there that's great there's a tad to i'll push it over that in a bit that'll be the next job anyhow the secret here is don't over tighten that don't over tighten that uh, we've got the threaded nut working again now, which is great. Just going to give it a sealer coat now. In there, a sealer coat. This is a sealer coat. In fact, I'll take the blade out first. Good to get some sealer on this. Stop it. Um, stop it absorbing any more moisture. In fact, look at that. It's running straight in. And I think this is the problem with the manufacture of these. They're up against it to produce them quickly. But in that, they haven't got time to do all the things that I could do to make it a better plane, a bit more stable. So. Right, that's that done. I won't do the bottom, there's no point. So that looks great. Let's get in here and give this some much needed moisture and see if we can stop it sucking up any um you know what if i just give that a little wipe over with danish oil it won't hurt it's going to um it's going to get sanded down so well, the whole escapement i mean i don't know whether people still call this the escapement it used to be all of this area used to be inside the mouth, it used to be called the escape. Let's see what um, 
That's taking some of the muck off already, isn't it? Anyhow, definitely sealed inside there. And this side. Just going to go over some more of the plane. It doesn't hurt to give it a coat. It'll get um, it'll get properly sealed later. But you know something. As I say, it won't hurt it at all because it needs rubbing down. Really, it's the the grain's rough. It's all rough. I don't know how I'm going to get inside there to clean that. Just gone over all of that now. That's done. So, let's see what I get to do to it next week. Thanks for watching.